Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our spark plugs. The process for replacing the spark plugs overall is going to be the same for each spark plug. What you're going to notice is three of them are located right across the front of the engine. They're fairly easy to get to. There's going to be another three right along the back side though. To access these, generally as long as the engine's off, just carefully reach down along the back. You can feel where those wires are, pop them off, and go ahead and replace the spark plug. Now a quick note, before you go ahead and install your spark plugs, you're going to want to make sure that you pay attention to this electrode area right here. Looking at it, you can see the big old ground strap that goes right over the top of the electrode located in the center. You want to make sure that it's not peened over or damaged in any way, maybe possibly due to shipping or handling or the like. Also, have a look at the ceramic area of the spark plug as well. If you see any black lines, more than likely it's a crack, in which case the spark plug's garbage. Alright, so like I told you, the process for all of the spark plugs is going to be pretty much the same. You're watching this on video, so this one's right out in the open for the camera, and it'll be the one that we service. For this, what you want to do is just grab onto that spark plug wire and you're going to give it a little twist, essentially to break it free from the spark plug. After that, grab it and pull it off. Give it a quick inspection, make sure it doesn't look broken or damaged or worn in any way. This one has a little bit of oil on it, typically it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it at that point. Now if you've got some compressed air, go ahead and spray the area. That's to remove any debris. The next thing that you're going to need is a 5 8 spark plug socket. It's very important to make sure you use a spark plug socket. Looking at the inside of these sockets, you can see a rubber grommet. That grommet is going to hold onto the spark plug and it's going to make sure that the socket can't wobble around and potentially damage your brand new spark plug. Let's go ahead and get our socket onto the spark plug. There we are. Now we're going to turn this counterclockwise to remove it. Here it comes. Now once you have your spark plugs out of there, it's a good idea to have a good look at them. Essentially we want to see what's been going on inside the engine. The main point to pay attention to is where that electrode is. If you see a whole bunch of buildup on it, typically it's due to bad gas or maybe a contaminant in the engine. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do before you go ahead and install your brand new spark plug is to compare it to the original. What you want to pay attention to is the threaded area. Essentially you want to make sure it's the same length. If the new spark plug came up quite a bit more than the original, you're going to have major issues. Now this one right here looks perfect, so we know we're ready for our installation. Okay, so let's take that brand new spark plug, we're going to put it right into our spark plug socket, and as you can tell, it does not fall out. That's super important. Now we can take this, put it into position, and whenever you do something like this, you always want to start it in by hand and bottom it out by hand. Essentially, you want to make sure that you're not cross threading this spark plug into the engine. Okay, so that's bottomed out. Once I have that bottomed out, I'm going to go ahead and torque them to 11 foot pounds. Let's try that one again. Now we can put on our spark plug wire. Before we do that, just use a thin amount of dielectric grease along this area, essentially the area that slides over the spark plug. Now we can slide that right onto the spark plug. Once you get it lined up, press it right in, listen for a click. There it is. Give that a nice tug, make sure it's secure. You don't want this shaking around and falling off while you're driving down the road. Okay friends, we got one of our spark plugs in there. The process is going to be the exact same thing for all the other spark plugs. The ones along the back of the engine are a little harder to get to, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and it's going to be even harder to see. But essentially, like I said, just carefully reach along the back of the non-running engine, go ahead and pull off the wire, do one spark plug at a time, and put the wire back on. Thanks for watching.